this is my house saw slash chainsaw. And I was trimming my mesquite tree for about two and a half hours. This was yesterday. And it's about finished when the chain slipped from the uh, guy bar. Thought it was broken. After examining it, after looking at the uh, chain, I realized it had just slipped. Happened once before in another think of Black & Decker. Just a regular chainsaw that I had, or I still have. So here's just a matter of uh, cleaning the chamber here after I remove the cover. Clean that area real good. A lot of filth there, leaves, twigs, grime. And also go over the grooves of the uh, guide bar where the chain is going to slip in. Because that could cause you some issues if it's uh, dirty there also. And I'm not showing everything here. As it is the video, I thought it was a little bit too long, but... I used this broom here along with the socks to clean this area here. I used the broom later on to go through the grooves on the guide bar. Before you mount the, the chain of the guide bar, make sure that it's the right way. There is a right and a wrong way to put it on there. If you put it the wrong way, you're going to have trouble cutting any wood. You can tell by the teeth, the pointed edge of the uh, teeth of this chainsaw should be pointed away from the, from the motor to, toward the front. I've got a diagram to show you uh, later on here. I'm doing this. I'm going to edit this um, to make it a little bit shorter. Get it nice and clean. Trying to fit the, ch the chain on the uh, cylinder. I'm a little bit clumsy, so it takes me a while to, to get this done. Before I put the cover on there, I want to make sure that the back is on correctly. That's the part that I can't see when I, when I apply the tension. The larger knob here provides the tension. You can loosen it up or tighten it. And the smaller knob locks it. Sometimes you have to play around with both. Uh, you think you got it and it's too tight, maybe it's too loose, you gotta unlock it again and then throw it in there. You don't want it too tight. That could cause you some issues. You have it too loose, that could cause some issues.
trying to slide it in the groove at the same time. I'm, I'm pulling on it to keep it there while I put the cover on. And I provide a little bit of tension along with eventually lock it. Yeah, the other cover was a little bit loose, I'll just tighten that a little bit. But then you gotta loosen it up a little bit to provide the tension. So again, just this is tension here. With the big knob. Yeah, it's too loose there. Turn it, up, turn it around manually just to see if it's it in place the correct way. And it appears that it is. Don't feel it out of the groove there. So go ahead and lock it. Here's where I finally got it the way I want it. And I go inside to get the, the cord to get some power on it. But here it is. Here's the way you want it. The, the uh, motor, as you look at the screen, is on the left. And then just to the front. And there's the tooth there, the cutting part of the blade. You'll notice the sharp part is forward. Now, if you, this is a, looking from at the top of the blade here. Of course, obviously, if you go around, this rotates clockwise. It's going to be going pointing the other way. But if you look at the top of the blade, the orientation is that the this sharp edge here should be to the front. When it's on top, obviously, when it rotates under, it's going to go the other way. But we're looking at the top of the blade. Now be coming with the extension cord, the adapter here. That's what I like about this saw. Easy to mount here. This is the chainsaw version of it. Then of course you have a pole saw you can attach to it. There it is. It's still working there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.